Let's explore the standard deviation of domestic currency returns for a foreign risk-free asset. The formula is shown here, the standard deviation of R sub DC or the return in domestic currency terms is equals to 1 plus the R sub FC times the standard deviation of R sub FX. Here's what each term means. So RD sub DC is the return in domestic currency terms for the foreign risk-free asset and R sub FC would be the return in foreign currency terms and R sub FX represents the percentage change in the exchange rate between domestic and foreign currencies and the exchange rate is quoted as DC per FC okay so that's domestic currency per unit of foreign currency a key takeaway here is that for a foreign risk-free asset the standard deviation of the asset's return is zero. This makes sense because a risk-free asset, by definition, has no variability in its returns. Now, to see how this formula is derived, we start with the return in domestic currency terms, which is equals to 1 plus the return in foreign currency terms. We multiply by 1 plus the percentage change in the exchange rate, minus 1. Expanding the brackets, uh, this is what we'll get. Okay, so you have 1 times 1, you have 1 times R sub FX. And then we have R sub FC times 1, okay, which gives a third term. And finally, R sub FC times R sub FX. Okay, so that gives the product. And then we minus 1. So if we were to, of course, uh, minus out 1 can, uh, or cancel it off, uh, we get this. Okay, so that's without the 1 minus 1. Then we will find the standard deviation of the returns in domestic currency terms. Okay, so we have sigma for standard deviation. So each of these terms will have its own sigma. Now, uh, to use properties in statistics, if x is a random variable and we have k and b as constants, so the standard deviation of k times x would be equal to k times the sigma of x. Okay, so k being the coefficient here, okay, will act as a coefficient for the standard deviation of x. And for the standard deviation of a constant, okay, that would be equals to zero. So if we link it to a foreign registry asset where the return is constant, then the standard deviation of a registry asset is zero. So applying this, this would be equals to zero. And for this case, the third term, okay, R sub FC is just similar to K in this case, because K is also a constant. And what do we get? Okay, so the Standard deviation of the domestic currency returns uh, for a foreign registry asset okay, is where the standard deviation of the foreign registry asset is zero in its own local currency. Okay, we still have the first term, that doesn't change. Okay, and then for the third term, you will see that R sub FC is now the coefficient to the standard deviation of the changes in the exchange rate. And recognizing that we have a common term, and this is one, the coefficient here is one, so we can then factorize it and we get 1 plus R sub FC and then multiply by the standard deviation of the changes in exchange rates. Okay, so we can call this like a currency risk. So that's where we get the formula. So the standard deviation of domestic currency returns of a foreign risk asset is 1 plus the return of the, for, of the foreign risk asset in its own local currency terms. Then we multiply by the currency risk. Let's walk through this example. A UK domiciled fund invests in French government bills which yield a return of 2.521% per annum. So this is denominated in euro terms. The volatility of changes in the exchange rate is 7%. Calculate the standard deviation of the domestic currency returns for the French government bills. So in other words, we are expressing the standard deviation in British pound terms. So government bills would be considered risk-free assets. So when you calculate the standard deviation, we would use this formula where we would scale the exchange rate volatility by the return on the foreign risk free asset. So there'll be 1 plus 0 0.02521 multiplied by 7%. And that gives us 7.176477%. And this is expressed in British pound terms.